Hey there, Creative Birdies. How are you guys doing today or tonight or whatever time it is that you're watching? Hope you're had, you've had a good week and a good upcoming week. So I've been MIA for a while, um, but I'm back. Hopefully I get that kick that I need to get inspired again. That's what it's been. I've been, I've been uninspired and I know that if you are a creative person, you know, we get those spurts of not being too inspired. I just don't want to do anything. Um, well, not anything. I do my cleaning and all the stuff that I need to do. But as far as art, mm -mm, haven't done any. But I'm messing around, watching videos, and I go, you know what? I'm very uninspired. And I've been doing this every day. Going on Pinterest and trying to inspire myself and nothing, nothing at all. But I went through my stuff that I have um, pinned on my Pinterest and I found something simple we could do together. So we're going to make a ring out of copper wire that you can pick up at, uh, pick up at a hard, hardware store. And I usually have a little container that I toss beads and stuff into instead of organizing them. And here's my little container. It just has random things in there and probably some earrings as well. I haven't put on my nails oh, since the last time you guys watched. Um, until I find good glue. And a lady told me to send, a lady left a comment here on one of my videos telling me to sand down the, my bed, my nail bed first. And I did do that and it still didn't stick so I'm thinking it might be the glue that I'm using. And today, just about an hour ago, I tried this Wet n Wild glitter nail color. No good. It's just coming right off and it's been sitting for a good hour. Anyway, so let's make this ring, and if you're new to my channel, I do all sorts of stuff. Sometimes I vlog, sometimes I just jump on and do random things. It's just the way I run my channel. I like to just be real. Sometimes I talk about personal things, sometimes I talk too much, sometimes I don't talk. Sometimes I yell at my dogs to get in the room because I like to keep an eye on them. Just like I do, or I did when my kids were little. So I'm going to have to do that right now. Excuse me. <whistles> Beep -bee, come in here. Stay in here or I can see you. Okay. So my inspiration is from Pinterest and there is no claim on what I'm showing you guys. So it's nobody's um, design. It's just a design that we can all do. So I have my wire nose. These are not wire nose pliers. These are round nose pliers. Beep beep! Come in here. Beep beep. You're not beep beep. You're pixie. Beep beep's, the, beep beep's your sister. Beans! Probably going to get water. Okay, so what you can do, if you have, I have a hair in my mouth. Got it. Oh. If you have these, they're really cheap. Back in the day, they were very expensive. When I first started making jewelry, things were not accessible like they are now. Really, they really weren't. These were things that jewelers had, and us jewelry designers were like ooing and aahing for. And if we had cash, we'd buy it because. If you had cash, they were expensive. Nowadays, you could find these on AliExpress for probably under $2. They have metal ones, plastic ones. Um, if you want to be specific and measure your finger out, do that. Or you can use something like this to measure your finger. And then um, you could check your size that way with the wire. This ring doesn't really need much measuring because it's going to be a ring that you can mess with and make bigger and smaller. 
if you choose. I usually use two socks when I do rings. Maybe I'll grab them. Two socks filled with whatever you have around the house. Let me grab it. I wasn't thinking of using them, but since I mentioned it, I'm going to show you guys. Two socks. And if you're going to complain about the squeaky chair and me slamming things, this is not the channel for you. Okay. Usually do that. That's what the socks are for. Let me pan out. The socks are to help you. It's like having extra hands or to help you. You can fill these up as much as you like. You can make them tighter or just tie a knot. It's however you want. I just have some plastic beads in here. I have some rubber bands here. You see there's some beads in there. Most likely they are vintage plastic beads. I'm not going to put that too tight. Mm. Just going to try to roll it down. That's why I don't fill them up too much because I like to play with the thickness of them. Okay, so. You can use a mandrel. They have very cheap mandrels. They even have sets and kits uh, online. You can find them. Hey, 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 get down. Both dogs of mine are, are female, but they're in heat and they're humping each other. <laughs> uh, let's see. Find your size and wrap your wire around there if you don't have a mandrel and you would like to purchase one. Like I said, you can get it online or use. I don't know. Um, plastic stick. Not a plastic stick. I don't know why I said that. You can use maybe a brush, you know, like this part of the brush. A marker. Just get get um creative. Alright. So where'd my bead go with all this chit chatting? Here's my flower bead that's gonna be going to be I'll fix my light that will be. Wow, is the lighting bad? I think that's a bit better. Okay, the camera's gonna be a little confused. My, my focal bead. Hey, stop it. I'm distracted with the dog, sorry. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is get you guys in. I'm going to use my round nose and do a swirl. And I just twist. And then it came out of wonk. It wonked itself a little bit, so I'm just going to play with it like that. And these, this tool here has the round nose, and then a flat plate, and then a cutter. Like I said, you can get so many tools now, so many supplies online. When I started, there was not much. Do your, do your spiral as big or as small as you like. And as wonky as you want. If you want it wonky or perfect. If you want it perfect, you're going to have to... Um, practice. I like the little divots. I love when my tools, you may not, I do, I like when my tools, for instance, where's my tool? When they have teeth, I like to squeeze my metal my wire and I like to leave the impression of these grooves in my designs. Many don't, many do. So I'm going to make this between an eight and a half and a nine and I'm just going to use my thumb. BB stay in here. BB stay in here. 
Good girl. I like to work off of my spool because I use up less. I make less waste and I'm just holding and pinching. You can go around two times, you can go around three times. Even four. I think I'm going to do four. I'm giving myself some extra um, some extra wire. Now I can get fancy and I can wrap this around. Let's see. So here you have your ring. Let's see which finger it'll fit right there. It'll fit that finger just fine. Now I can wrap this around. I think I will just for security. So what I'm going to do this is optional. If you don't want to wrap it the way I'm going to wrap it, go ahead and do the rest of the, the design by just putting your focal bead in and twist the top. We'll do that after. But for me, since it's going to be a ring that I am going to wear, I'm going to put it back here. I'm going to pull on it. And then I am going to give it a twist to my left. Good straight twist like that. An L. Basically an L. See that? Just going towards the spiral. I want it to hug the ring. So I'm going to go ahead and give it another twist. I'm going to let it go and I'm going to give it I'm going to give it a twist. Give me one second. Now I'm going to twist it down towards the floor. So now it's down there. And hugging, I'm going around the spiral and it's going to come back out. Sorry, when I have the camera so zoomed, it's hard to stay on focused on where my hands are. Now I kind of messed up. I need a little more room, so I'm going to go ahead and make my ring a little smaller. I'm going to put it back. Everything's fixable when it's wire. Wire is so friendly. Just go with, go ahead and start adjusting. If you need strength, your fingers are not strong, use the back of your tool. Push down. Do what you need to do to get the design where you want it. And That's, I think, good enough for me. I'm going to pinch this up. I still need more, so I'm going to give myself some more slack. Okay. Be, be, behave. All I need is enough for this bead to sit. Be, be, get down. Stop. Stop humping. Hey, stop. Stop. So now it's sitting there, right? And you see it has a little, 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 little tiny bit sticking out. I'm going to curve it just enough to where it's secure. Whichever direction it wants to go in. Let me. 
Okay, camera, don't be blurry. Don't play tricks on me. Could it be my glitter throwing the camera off? Give me one second. Focus on this. Okay, so you see that little tiny bit that's there? I'm going to try to bend it in any direction that it wants to go. Like that. So now it's sideways. I'm going to adjust my ring and it's not going to fall. Look. I'm not going nowhere. It's perfectly fine. And you got yourself a cute little wing. Very simple. That's not going to fit there. And you could still mess with it. And it's not flim it's not flimsy. It's really nice. And that's what I got for you guys today. If you don't have wire at the grocery store, I know here in Los Angeles, at my grocery store, they have um, the ties to tie off your produce, which I don't use because it adds weight to your produce. If you didn't know that, that's their trick. Close up your bag with produce, but you add that wire so that it closes up nicely and nothing falls out. That little bit of wire adds some weight to your produce and then you end up paying a little more so I don't use them. But what I sure do do is sometimes I take the wire back in the day when I didn't have wire and I would make jewelry out of that. So you would probably have to go around quite a few times. You might have to braid the wire together then make your ring. Just many ways to go around it. Um, also, you might find wire in on the floor, old jewelry. Just look around, you'll find some wire. Beads, beads, beads are everywhere. They're on shirts at the Goodwill store. Just keep your eye out. Sometimes people, people break their jewelry and there's beads on the floor. And if you wanted a different color, paint it with nail polish, paint it with alcohol inks. Get inspired. As long as you get inspired and you make something that has meaning to you and it makes you feel pretty and happy, wear it, use it, play with it. I made this one too, the, my crescent moon. My daughter and I, my husband went to, which is the last video here on the channel, we went to a little um, flea market, was it a flea market? No, it was like a little craft fair and there, there was a guy there selling crescent moon rings for five dollars. We got my daughter one, I wanted one, but I said you know what, why am I going to do that. I'm just going to make it at home. Took me three tries and I finally got it. So there's my crescent moon ring. Maybe I'll come and make a tutorial if you guys want it. Let me know down below. And hope you guys are doing well. If you're new here um, and you like what I do, I have over a thousand videos. I have playlists. Um, just click on my name, create it Sigrid at Creative Birdie. Click on it. It's right down there. Click on it and it'll take you to a page that's called home page. On that home page right above it'll say videos, playlist, about, um, all sorts of stuff. Click on the playlist and you'll find a bunch of videos or you can even click just videos and go through my videos. You can even click up above and it'll say something like old videos, new videos, newest, most popular. Hey, get down. I even have a playlist called most popular. Anyways, if you would like to keep, if you'd like to get notifications, don't forget to ring that bell once. It's right next to the subscription. You have to be logged into YouTube in order to subscribe to people and some people don't realize that. You have to make yourself an account on YouTube in order for you to start saving and liking and subscribing, well actually liking, no. In order for you to subscribe to channels so that you get updates on when they upload, you have to make an account here on YouTube. And many people don't know that. And it's quite simple. You just read the directions on how to make yourself an account, just like your Facebook account if you have a Facebook. Many people don't. Hey, stop humping. Get down. I need to get a water bottle and squirt their butts. Hey, so they can take a good cold shower. <laughs>
Anyways, I've got my Tylenol right here. It's about time for me to take my Tylenol. And I will come back hopefully soon. Hopefully this sparks my fire to creativity because I really have not been creative. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. I appreciate the time that you spent. I appreciate that you chose to watch my video. Thank you so very much. And stay healthy and be creative. And if you can't be creative, just try. Hey. Okay. Bye, guys.